Hello everyone, Geriatric here, and we're back with the Nintendo Classic System, and today we are going to be playing Punch-Out! A classic. Um, but first let me tell you a little bit about how I got this uh, machine. I literally went to four stores, uh, because you, as a lot of people know, you couldn't pre-order it at a lot of places, so I just went and tried a lot, and it was out, out, out. And I finally went to a GameStop in the mall where I live, and I got in line, and I was, like, really hoping that I had enough. The guy comes out and said, hey, we got 10. And so I was waiting in line. He's doing his count, and you count, and he's counting, and it's 8, 9, 10, and I'm number 11. And I'm like, damn it, you know? I still won't be able to get it. But then, just like out of a movie, somebody said, oh, no, we're together. We're only getting one because you can only buy one. So I was number 10 in that store, and I was so thankful to get it. Really excited. So today we're going to be playing Punch-Out. Punch-Out was a boxing game that was released that's kind of more of a puzzle game. And this is unfortunately not the one with Mike Tyson. This is uh, with the end is Mr. Dream. So we're going to get into it. We're going to see how far we can go in this one. And we'll keep telling stories about playing this. <laughs> Let's keep it clean. Now come out boxing. Ah, uh, the first. Oh, Glass Joe. Glass Joe. Now, it's, 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 it's interesting because when you look at this from an adult standpoint, yeah, these things are caricatures of other countries. But as a kid, you didn't know that. You're just like, man, got to be Glass Joe. I never thought, well, well, it's because he's from France. But So I am, of course, Little Mac, and there's Doc right next to me. Going to help me out. And here we go. Keep your cameo out, eyes out for the cameo from Mario. And here we go. Round one. Yep, there he is. There's Mario. Yeah, so this game is not really boxing. It's more like figuring out what's happening and then hitting. And there's Glass Show. Glass Show is easy, but I don't want to say anything in case I lose. Oh, gotcha. Oh, now you're going there. Oh, going down. Oh, just beating him. Down, and... Um, my dad actually really liked this game. Oh my god, I got hit. First time Glass Joe's ever hit somebody in a game. Oh, got the star. Oh, what? Set him down. So my dad actually really liked playing this. He would actually play it so much he'd get blisters on his hands from playing it. So I got a star, so that's an uppercut if you hit at the right moment. Which will wait. Oh man, and I just lost it. I actually really liked uh, the Punch-Out game that came out for Wii. It was a really cool... Like, reimagining. My god, Blast Joe. You're a lot harder than I remember. Come on. Bam, gotcha. Come on. Oh, and each, uh, every round is three minutes. And so you see, we got seven seconds left in this round. Come on, come on, give me that. Oh, I forgot that you're, you can keep your stamina up. Oh, there's the round. Let's see. I always like this because it was always like showing them, stick and move, stick and move. Make it quick. I want to retire. <laughs> but yeah, the, the new one that came out for Wii was really fun. I would play that and I beat it like a few times, so it was just fun. Come on, Glass Joe, what do you got? I was about to say, I remember in the later rounds you get more. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta remember if you hit the buttons while you're doing this, if your light goes up to this one. Still got that in there? Oh, apparently not. <laughs> and I'm wondering if I'm thinking of Super Punch Out, which was, I was not a fan of that game. This was actually uh, an arcade game. Oh, I got an uppercut. Uh, okay, I thought it was selected then. Am I wrong there? Huh. Might need to look at one of those manuals. But it was actually an arcade game, and you were like this green, like, wireframe boxer. Oh, come on, Joe. You want to come back out? Now, if you knock out your opponent... Hmm, I'm wondering why it's not working. Oh, it doesn't matter. Knock him down again. So that's three, so that's a TKO. Technical knockout, and I just won. God, I wonder why 
the thing didn't work. I'll have to check out. Maybe they changed the controls. Great Fighting won by TKO. You'll be ranked up to number two, ready for the next challenge. Now, this is where things start getting real. Who's next? Von Kaiser? Yep, it's Von Kaiser. All right. All right, here we go. Come on, Von Kaiser, what you got? Just remember you and your shaky head. Do -do 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 -do. I love this music. All right. I always used to, used to hit the right because I'm right-handed. Yeah. Why are you easier than Glass Joe? <laughs> look on his face is great. I always look like surprised. You know, I played like Fight Night and some of those real boxing games. It's just like this isn't like Punch Out. <laughs> Oh, you're getting up on one. You're, you're feeling it, aren't you, Von Kaiser? Let's see what you got. Oh, I remember. Yep, your uppercut. Always dodge to the left. You can dodge to the right, but there are some attacks where it will actually hit you in the later fight, so I always went to the left. Come on. Two, three. Come on, Mario. Oh, of course. Why is Mario a ref? <laughs> Come on. TKO, first round. Yeah, why was Von Kaiser easier than Glass Joe? All right, but now we're going to get serious. It's the terror from Tokyo Town. It's Piston Honda, who is the winner. Next up, it's the title bout in the World Video... Was it World Video Game Boxing Alliance? It was... I don't remember. Oh, God. Piston Honda. He has a thing. It's his eyebrows. I remember that. And I think you actually have to block, which I don't even know how to block. Oh, God. Look at I love how Piston Honda and some of the other characters were literally, like, huge compared to me. All right. What you got? What you got? Yep. You can only get, like, two hits on him. Yeah, I got that. See, these are fine. It's when he starts hitting his special attacks. Wow, I don't really. Come on, come on. Mm, mm. And I remember when you knock him down, that's when things start getting real in this fight. Okay, oh god, okay, come on, Piston, what you got? Come on. Mm. I remember your moves, and I didn't remember Glass Joe's. Come on, come on. Oh, if I can get him knocked out before a special move, but I don't think that's possible. Because I think he'll hit it no matter what. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Yes! Oh, oh that was the second one. Oh my god, I thought that was the third one. Oh, stay down. Stay down. Come on, stay down. Stay down. Oh, no, you ain't staying down, are you? And see, I mean, that was the thing. It was just... Oh, God. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Three minutes. Oh, my God. That would, could have been a lot worse than it could have been. Keep your guard up. Sushi, Kamikaze, Fujinama... Oh, my God. See, again, you, you look at this now, and you're like... Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Nor this. <laughs> Sorry about that. My phone just went off. That was Les Miserables, if you were playing at home. Oh, God. Okay. So, yeah. So, down is block. At least it didn't change that. All right. What you got? See, why did I think you were going to start with that? It's funny, because even though I haven't played this game in a long time, I'm getting this one confused with uh, the new Wii version, because it was like, okay, in the second round, he starts off with it. I remember one of uh, Piston Honda's sayings in this one was like, I'm going to give you a TKO from Tokyo. I love saying that. I repeated it all the time. Oh, God. Here we go again. Oh, okay. That's not as bad. Yeah, take that. 
And it, I never could figure out what the... Oh, God, he got right back up again. Okay, come on. What you got? Now, I could get a star, but that seems kind of pointless. Because... Is that TKO? Yeah, it's TKO! I am the winner. Oh, uh, now, if I remember my dad playing this game, this next opponent... Hold on, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion. It's me. And this was the first game I ever remember that had a password thing. Oh, yeah. Mac in his little pink jumpsuit riding through New York. See, at the end of these, they would give you a passcode, which you could have, and you had to write it down. But it's kind of it's kind of pointless with this stuff now, because now we just, with this system, we can just save it. So, all right, I'm going to take on this next guy and then get to my favorite character in this whole thing. I loved him so much, and he was actually became quite a big villain. See, passkey is this, and you got to remember that. So remember, write it down somewhere, keep it safe, and you got to make sure you don't spill any like soda on it or anything. <laughs> oh my God, was there any worse feeling when your mom threw it away? And you're like, Mom, I needed that. Oh, there he is, Don Flamenco. Don Flamenco. This is the one. If I remember my dad playing this game, he always, I always remember him fighting Don Flamenco from Spain, and he's a uh, Dancer. Oh, look at that. Even the rose. <laughs> and the rose just disappears. Now, remember Don Flamenco. Don Flamenco would never throw a punch unless you threw a punch first and you had to dodge. Yep. Take that. Yep. He would never attack you unless you attacked him first. And he just always do his little Flamenco punch. Yep, come on. Could never score a hit. I was, and it's funny, me and my brother would always think of ways like, is there a way to actually hit Don Flamenco before? And nothing. Bellies, nothing. And I don't think there is a way. Now, if I remember correctly, when he gets up, he's going to attack me. This is the only time after you knock him down. Yep, I'm right. Oh, yeah, and the, oh, and the speed up animation. Yeah, for some reason, after you hit him after that, you suddenly, like, you saw it. I, like, sped up super speed. Oh, my God. So many memories. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm tired. Oh, come on. Come on, Don Flamenco. I don't remember that part. I don't remember ever getting tired. Oh, I think I had to dodge, not block. One, two, one, two, punch back. Carmen, my love, I dance so sweet for you. See, I remember that. I remember about Carmen. And she, uh, she's mentioned in the second one. In the Wii version. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. Why did that happen? I can't believe that. I have to attack him, and why was it taking away my hearts? And see, that's the thing. When you get tired, you get can't do anything, can't throw punches. Oh, come on. All right, do it. Take that. I wonder if I can dodge. I, I thought I could dodge when I get... Oh my god, super speed up happened again. Oh, take that, take that. As I said, I used to remember if you push the buttons, you got more life back. And that's not happening. God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get tired again. I might be able to beat this guy by technical. Oh my god, he put me down. Actually, that might be the best thing that happened. Now I get my hearts back. One, two, one, two, come on. I'm gonna knock you down, Flamenco. You're not gonna get back up. Let's see, damn it. Three again. Oh, that was a technical knockout. Yeah, yeah, I won. God, that fight was a lot harder than I remember. Ready for the next challenge? Yes. Now, here comes my favorite character, because he's just so strange. There he is, King Hippo. 
King Hippo. I love it. From Hippo Island, South Pacific Age. Who knows? Wait, who knows? I loved King Hippo. And when he spoke during in the middle of matches, he had nothing to say. Um, King Hippo actually was in uh, Captain N and the Game Masters. If you remember that cartoon, he was one of the villains there. Oh, I love King Hippo. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> now, Hippo had a thing where he was tough, but you only had to knock him down once because he wouldn't get back up. Yep, see, you had to make him get his stomach. Come on, uh, take that. Just had to wait. Come on. Come on, hippo. Take this. Bam. <laughs> King Hippo. I love you, King Hippo. You're just such a strange thing. He is not getting back up. <laughs> well, something has been changed. That's it. Knockout. I love you, King Hippo. King Hippo, you just had to knock him down once, and then it was all good. If I remember correctly, he was super strong, though. All right. Okay, who's the next one? Oh, it's the Great Tiger. See, this is where it starts getting really hard. So I'm going to pause it right here. Um, as I said, I love this game. God, i got to figure out looking at Gotta go check out those manuals, find out how to do the star. I'm gonna get messed up in some of these earlier ones. So, this is Geriatric for uh, NES Classic Punch Out, telling you remember a time where boxing games were more about puzzles than actual boxing? Geriatric. Oh god, I wonder if that's gonna fall or something.